In Ukraine right now, everyone is in the middle of a battle, even families fighting to escape the war. You can actually see they're, they're pushing the gates open, trying to get past any way they can. And you notice there's, there's no men of fighting age here because anybody, regardless if you're a father or whomever you are, if you're of the age to fight the war, you're staying back and you're taking the Russians head on. In the cities under siege, brave Ukrainians aren't just the ones wearing uniforms. Volunteer fighters, civilians armed with assault rifles, patrolling central Kyiv, ready to defend their country and protect their families. This video shows a Ukrainian throwing a homemade Molotov cocktail at a Russian fuel truck. And this video posted on Facebook, but not shot by NBC News, shows a Ukrainian man kneeling before a Russian tank, an attempt to stop it in its path. Other civilians seen handing out weapons. The former president of Ukraine calling on anyone who can to join the fight. I don't have a weapon in my hand yet, but I have it with me. And uh, I do it uh, with a great pleasure to protect Ukraine. Former heavyweight champion and current Kyiv mayor Vitaly Klitschko and his brother, also a former prize fighter, Vladimir, stepping up as well. Please get into action now. Don't wait. Act now. Stop this war. Enlisting in Ukraine's reserve army earlier this month. Back in the U.S., Peter Dunk, a father of six, desperate to get his family out of Ukraine. A pastor, his church back home, working to drive families caught in the chaos away from danger. Dunk says through a translator, he'll do anything to keep his kids and everyone safe. No, Sam, I'll go into that battle. I'll go into that mess and to help people. As families flee, so many others stain to fight, showing Russia Ukraine's greatest weapon is its people. Tom, you saw firsthand the sacrifices the Ukrainian families are having to make as they desperately try to leave Ukraine. Jose, the desperation I saw in the eyes of those families is unlike anything I've ever seen before. In some cases, husbands are walking with their families for days, for miles, dropping them off at the border and then going back to fight. And tonight, Russia is realizing it is at war with an entire country. Ukraine's military telling its civilians, if you have weapons, use them. Take down street signs to confuse the invaders. And if you see Russian troops in a forest, set it on fire. Jose? Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.